Hey YouTube, Billy here. Today I want to do a quick video on a solar power battery charger slash maintainer. And this comes from a company called Sunner, S-U-N-E-R, Power. This is their 14 watt panel here in front of me. What these do, you set them out in the sunlight obviously. And they have a cord with a quick neck on the end of it that would plug into two uh, clamps for your battery terminals or a cigarette lighter lead. You could literally put this in your car like on the dash and feed it in through your car cigarette lighter and charge the uh, battery that way or maintain the battery that way. One side note with that, you got to make sure that that cigarette lighter has an open circuit at all times. A lot of cars will shut off after a minute or two of the ignition being off so you want to make sure that if you were going to do that 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 was an open circuit say on a car or on a boat or anything like that i'm assuming boats have cigarette lighters i don't have one so that i don't know um but you get the point okay so one thing i want to point out with this is even though this is for a 12 volt battery the voltage that comes off of this panel is going to be higher than 12 volts depending on the sunlight and they do that because sunlight varies um it's, it's part of the nature of these solar panels that I'm finding out is that they're going to vary in power. So you might have it putting out, you know, 12, 14 volts, which is fine, or it may jump up to 16 or 20 volts. So you want to check with the manufacturer. What you might need is a solar power controller. So, I'm sorry, solar charge controller. This is what they have here that they sent me. Uh, it's their solar charge controller. This was about a $20 item. This charger or charging panel was about 70 bucks, I think. So you're looking at about $90 here for the two items. What this does is it regulates. So if this panel is putting out, say, 16 volts, this charger control, <laughs> this solar charge controller would be putting out maybe five or six volts and it's trickle charging your battery is what it's doing. So what I want to do is I'm going to bring the camera in close. I've got the LEDs for my normal uh, lighting here which is pretty bright. I've got an extra LED added over here on the side. So this panel here is actually going to be putting power out just from the LEDs. So we're going to do a quick measurement on it, see what the volts are, and then I'm going to plug it into this controller and I'll show you the drop and how it's controlling it. Okay, so I have a meter set up for 20 volts DC. This right here is the cable coming from the charger. We're going to plug the positive into the positive and we'll touch off on the negative here. So you can see it's doing about 16 volts. We're now going to plug it into the controller Saw the green light come on on the controller there. And you can see the controller takes it down to about four and a half volts. So earlier I was testing this and the controller had it coming out I think around six volts. So it was between four and six volts based off the power coming off the panel. Alright, so I'm going to get into testing this. This is going to get hooked up on a tractor out in the yard. Uh, and we'll see how it holds up to the elements and how it does maintaining a battery and then that'll be another video when I do a follow-up after I've had a chance to play around with it and see how well it does. As always, I hope you enjoyed watching this and I'll see you next week.